Hello. I have a question for Christians. Do you believe you're a Christian? Do you believe you're a real Christian? Do you believe with all your heart and soul that you have a personal relationship with Jesus? Do you feel Him in your heart? Do you feel tears well up in your eyes when you sing praises to Him? Do you hear His small, still voice when you talk to Him at night or when you pray? Do you feel moved by the Spirit to help other people and be kind and be forgiving and compassionate? Do you feel giving? Do you feel like you you look upon the Bible and you see you feel strengthened and enriched and in, and you gain insight by reading the Bible? Do you feel reverence in his house? As much as you feel all these things so strongly, I can guarantee you 100% that if you became an atheist for whatever reason, <laughs> if you become an atheist for whatever reason, no matter what that reason is, I guarantee you that you will have Christians tell you that you were never really a Christian. I don't care how much you believe. I don't care how much you feel it in your heart. I don't care how close you feel to Jesus. If you one day have the revelation cross your brain like it did mine and like it has done for so many other former Christians that the Bible is not an inspired work of God and that the God of the Bible is not loving and merciful and in fact he's rather heinous he's a, he's a butcherer of children and infants and pregnant women if you come to the realization, if you, you become aware of the whole Bible and you read the whole Bible and you become aware, you start seeing past the blinders that have been on you your whole life and you realize that this is a lie and that the warm fuzzy voice inside is you, your own intellect talking to you, the, the intelligence in your head reasoning and talking and trying to comfort the wild animal, the, the, the emotion, the raw emotion and fear and, and animalistic uh, instinct that lives in your heart. We have that. We all have that in our heart. We all have the intellect in our minds. When we talk and are in despair and we talk to whatever, trying to seek answers, the voice that comes back to us, that answers us, is our intellect. It's the other side of us, the grown-up, the rational, the side that's learned from its mistakes. We all have that small, still voice inside us. Whether we're Christian, or Muslim, or atheist, or Wiccan, we all have that. And it does not come from this religion and this this man god that has been created by this religion and yes I believe just like you I I felt just as strongly as you do now that I had all these things and that I was a good true Christian and that I was going to heaven and that I was saved and that I had Jesus in my heart and all these things and now here I am being told that I was never a real Christian well guess what if you ever change, if you ever hear the wrong verse or hear somebody put something in a different light than you've ever had it put before and it makes you think in a different way or see something in a different way, like, for example, the Isaac Abraham story. That's supposed to be such a good story showing God's mercy and also showing Abraham's spirit of of obedience to God, so obedient that he was willing to put his own son on an altar and stab out his life. Wow, what a great story, what a great testament. And then one day you might look at that and go, why would an all-knowing God test Abraham? An all-knowing God would know ahead of time that Abraham would have been willing to kill his own son for him. So why put Abraham through that misery of having to walk up this mountain with his only son in hand, thinking he's going to have to kill him to prove himself to God. What a horrible thing to do. What a malicious and sadistic thing to do to Abraham. Never mind what it put poor Isaac through. What kind of God would do that? 
especially a God who's all-knowing and knows ahead of time that Abraham would have passed this test. Little stories like that, or the story of Noah's Ark. Wow, you know, they, they got on this ark. Noah, Noah was such a good guy, except that he listened to the, the, the thumping of the fists of his neighbors, and I'm sure they thumped at that ark until their knuckles bled and the blood ran down their arms, begging him to let them in the ark to save them. And he just kept that door shut and listened to them and heard their screams and was oblivious. And yet we're supposed to believe that Abraham was a good and kind, or Abraham, Noah, was a good and kind person and had was the only one of them that had morals. What? I'm sorry, if I had been Noah, I don't care what God said, I would have opened the door. I would have let those people in. In fact, I would have said to God, why are you doing this? Why are you murdering not only all the people on the earth, but all the animals that did nothing wrong? Anyway, one day, you just might find yourself questioning. Because, you know, it's not something you set out to do. You're, you're going to go along in your faith thinking you're, you know, you're, you're going to be a devoted Christian. One day someone's going to point something out. Someone's going to say something that you didn't hear before or you're going to come across a verse that you hadn't noticed before and it's going to put that little seed of doubt in you and then either one of two things will happen. You will manage to choke out the seed with more um, brainwashing, more of, more of reading the same stuff over and over that tells you, that tells you what you want to believe is true or you're going to do what I did and you're going to start a quest. You're going to start a quest and go through the Bible and try to figure out what exactly it is that you've been worshipping your whole life without question. And then you're going to, if, if you do that, you just might come across the same answer I did. That it's all a bunch of bullshit and there, this God, this God that, that, I, that you've been worshipping. Why would you worship such a being? And no matter how you come to it, the day that you say that you're an atheist, that's the day that every other Christian that you ever come across will say, oh, you were never really a Christian. Then you get to see how that feels.